I don't understand how it benefits anybody because um, we're either all in it together or we're not. Uh, I would imagine if you asked a few actually why were they doing that, they might not even be able to answer because it becomes a, m a mob mentality. And of course, at one end of the ground, we've got hardcore section of fans who are playing his song and trying to get his name sung. So, you know, I'm very aware it's not everybody, but we're either all in this together or we're not. And don't think for one minute the other players won't be looking at that thinking that could be me one day. And that's been one of the problems with playing for England. Players have thought, mm, do I want to go? Because when it turns a little bit difficult, then the crowd are going to turn on me. And that happened with John Barnes here. And that happened with Ashley Cole a couple of times. It happened with Raheem. Um, now Harry. Uh, they're all outstanding players. And um, so how that is going to benefit anybody, I, I really don't understand. And we're united as a team. We need a Harry Maguire playing well if we're going to have a chance of doing well this summer. Because we're not going to win a World Cup with a load of players that have got three or four caps. Uh, that's not happened in the history of the game. So we need our experienced players playing well, in, in particularly in those positions of the field. He's top quality. In my opinion, he's the best centre back at his club as well. Um, and where this is all starting or being fed, I, I'm not sure. but. It's ludicrous. It's almost like every time he steps on a football pitch, every action is analysed to death. I, I can't remember a player having that sort of spotlight on them at any point. Um, yeah, no, personally, I think it's ridiculous. Um, Harry's been unbelievable for for this country um, in in every you know the World Cup, the Euros. He's been outstanding. I think even tonight he was brilliant. You know, our first. Our first two goals, you know, come from the first one, him driving out with the ball, and the second one comes from him driving a little bit and then playing the pass into Oli. Um, you know, not every centre back can can have those qualities, you know. Um, and yeah, Locker says he's been a fantastic servant uh, for this country, and um, yeah, he's been brilliant. So I, I think it was ridiculous for for him to get booed, and um, it wasn't something that the that the, the team liked.